The Black Lives Matter movement up here for us has been a matter of cosmetizing the corpse to camouflage the curse. See right here, this is a multi-million dollar operation. The figures vary from 35 million to, to 50 million dollars. Who got some of that money? Not a dime can I count that they've given us. Anything back, nothing. In my estimation, they've caused just as much harm as some would think that they've done good. It was a lot of different organizations out here. They kind of brought, brought, I think, brought themselves in here, tried to make themselves something that they wasn't. A large force of anarchists with them, and uh, you know, different, different radical type groups. You could tell that the place and the stickers, the different things. They was never from here. They came in here. They were sent to come in here to do this. My suggestion is that we are facing one of the worst cases of white supremacy that we've ever seen. What do you mean, Rev? White supremacy is to define your reality and then force you to live up under that definition. Hear me, white supremacy, define your reality and then force you to live up under that definition. The Minneapolis Police Department is rotten to the root. If you listen to Black Lives Matter, They'll make you think that the police is the number one issue in the community. We all believe in abolishing the Minneapolis Police Department. But if you take away the police issue, we still got poverty, we still got death, we still got suicide, and we still got drugs. The ones that are not in the good standards, I think they should be get rid of. But I don't think they need to abolish the whole system. And so as they have the money that back them to try to force us to live up under their definition, it ain't black lies because it's white folk that's funding it. They want this area. They want this whole thing. So little by little, they find ways to get the black folks out and get them out and get them out and get them out. Here, out One, take business out of the area. Let poverty set in. Property values go down get suppressed. Now they come in and they buy the properties at low prices and then they jack the prices up. The average house over south now is over $300,000. I'd say over 25 years I lived in uh, Minnesota and I always love it here. It's always been like my first home. Okay, should be getting close. Been involved in, uh, in the streets uh, all my life in various capacities, and now I'm trying to lay back and give back uh, and repair some of the damage that possibly I helped even cause. I was 30 years old when I got here, and what we've tried to do with the church is uh, make sure that it is founded upon strong biblical principles. And so what we've tried to do for the last 31 years is make sure that whatever the needs are in our community, that we as a church try to have an impact on it. We're out here, we have uh, materials here. Uh, we seek to try to bond with the community and engage these young people on an active basis. This has been a high volatile area. Uh, a lot of the crime has been reduced in this area as a result of our presence being here. As you go down, that's where the police station got hit. We were out there. We had a group of about 40 people that was comprised of vice lords, GDs, uh, fraternities, and church people. And we put a barrier between the police department and the protesters. Uh, people were throwing water bottles at the police and they were shooting rubber bullets at them. And we only left because we were told that the National Guard was coming in. When we left, that's when they burnt the station down. There I know one of the former high-ranking members of the Gangs Disciples got caught up like far as gang banging, got caught up far as selling drugs. I got caught when they gave me um, 10 years. This is where the um, George Ford Memorial at, um, where he got killed at. And um, also where I used to own my restaurant right here. Baked and grilled Caribbean food in Minneapolis at Noonie's famous Jerk and Tings. 
featuring Jay. They was kind of tearing up all type of businesses, right? So I just ended up selling because it was just a whole lot of drama behind that. But that's what they wanted anyway. They wanted us to get out of here anyway. It, it's hardly ever from North Minneapolis to South Minneapolis, the businesses that was decimated under these protests, if you will, hardly ever come back and are made whole. They in there somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, they got all open. Yeah, this is a beauty store where all the girls sell their clothes and stuff. His death is in vain, not really. Because y'all getting that money, and where did the money go? Because it's showing in the business. It's showing in the neighborhood. It ain't showing, where's it at? I was actually about to take some money that I got from a loan and to try to open up a business here. But I changed my mind when I saw the areas and how bad things were and how Burnt up some of the buildings were. This is a shop I used to work at. That's gone, completely gone. It was right here, it's the empty space. All this empty space, it got burnt down. They call sympathy pimps. That's what we call them, sympathy pimps. When they see something happen, oh, okay, now they can see it, I can make a dollar. We've had over a hundred and some people killed since George Floyd. Seven to 800 shot. And Black Lives Matter has laryngitis as it pertains to what we're doing to each other. And 88% of those shootings and killings have been things that we've done to each other. You can't necessarily say just because a white police officer shot a black, that now it's time for us to protest. It's time for us to protest anytime this, 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 this violence occurs. They sit around and wait for opportunities the powers to be. When they get these opportunities, because they know it's going to happen, because they create the opportunity for it to happen. If a, a white officer shoots the black, then they want to come out in major force. But you don't see them no other time. Right now, they have absolutely no impact into what's going on and the decimation of our community. They collected over 30 some million dollars off of the death of George Floyd, black man killed by the police, and they've not put one dollar into the community. N-O-T-H-I-N-G, nothing, nothing.